Hi folks, I'm Modulus. I'm back for another update on the Russian Navy uh, Admiral Pentaleev. And uh, today, this is going to be part 3 of the build. So first off, uh, starting, I'll explain that I have actually uh, done a lot of repainting. Um, this is the deck which I have actually repainted it with a grey colour instead of this brown. So what happened is uh, Trumpeter's colour guide seems to be uh, a bit uh, off on the colours. So the deck it is shown here to use a uh, a red brown which is I think is this 131 and but <clears throat> the color did not turn out good um, and also the orange that they have uh, indicated here orange yellow uh, this 58 which was supposed to be this uh, it's actually H24 for this but I think you have seen how the color looks like in the uh, last uh, video in my part 2 so what I've done is uh, for this deck here I've used uh, a tree Mr. Hobby's uh, 339 which looks a bit grey and the reason why I chose this is because I'll just show you a photo from the from the internet um, so the deck here looks very dark grey almost like a black and this is the orange that uh, is supposed to be a bit orangey but last week uh, after I painted with uh, with this it turned out to be very yellowish so I've actually repainted all these with uh, I use this is actually a mixture of uh, red uh, brown number seven and 59 so I mixed it to be it's somewhere in between so this is the brown the orange and this is the mixture of these two uh, probably about 60% of this and 40% of this so this is the color for the all the decks and I think it looks uh, much closer to that uh, photo over here so the previous color is is something like this which is totally yellowish so i don't think it's suitable for this ship so over the weekend i just spent a lot of time uh, masking back everything painting and i had to remask these areas here so that is what i have done and also I have actually painted the uh, the grey on the hull and also the white strip. So today on the on camera, I'm gonna try to unmask this. I'm not sure how good it will turn out to be, but uh, let's just see what happens uh, when I unmask it. So. It's the first layer of the masking and this will be the top layer here. So this is where the white line uh, is masked off. Then it's gonna be the bottom part. 
So I think there's a lot of uh, muskings here. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna try to do this uh, quick because a masking can actually take a long time. And uh, okay, so this is the part where I have masked to cover up the the bottom part which is red and the top part for the white line would be here so, and I have to be careful because I could end up uh, breaking some things like the propeller shafts. So, it's quite difficult to mask everything. Okay, so now it's sticking to something else. Okay, so... Okay, so now we, we're gonna look at this uh, to see if the white line turned out uh, to be straight. So this is uh, on the other side here. And also at the back here, I'm gonna try to unmask all these things here. be a bit difficult to do this on camera um, I might have to use a tweezer or something else but uh, okay I think I got that part up I'm just gonna zoom in a bit here now and uh, I'll probably have to use a, a cutter knife so Okay, so now I think I want to take a look at how this white line is turning out and but the thing is I'm not getting okay I got it I think I got it out so let me just zoom out a bit so here it goes uh, you can see the white paint is actually peeling off the uh, the masking tape so I think the paint is not really sticking well to the masking tape so I think I have a lot of these things here. So let's check out the lines. Okay, so the lines are not too bad. It's actually quite uh, straight and also quite even along the way all the way to the back here 
so maybe that is probably uh, oops drop something probably it's acceptable so now I'm gonna try to peel off the tape on this side here Okay, there's a bit of smudging over here. And I think it's really thick. But anyway, I will just try to... Yeah, I can feel... Actually, I can feel the step. Probably the white is too thick. So maybe after this, I'm just gonna like try to sand it off a bit. But anyway, the white line looks uh, looks acceptable, or at least at least for my standard. So uh, I'm not gonna do the other side on camera because it's just gonna take up a lot of time. So. Uh, so that is it. I've done the, all the painting on the hull. And then I've also actually, uh, I told you I wasn't gonna <clears throat> uh, shave off the, I'm just, I said I was gonna leave on the door over here, but I did uh, scrape it off and later I'm gonna stick the photo edge, uh, just like this thing here. And in fact, all the all the areas where I thought I could not uh, get my cutter to reach into those places where I've glued, I have actually managed to uh, scrape off the doors. So I I did stick all the photo which doors uh, like uh, over here and even even in here and like over here and the same goes for this side here I have okay so I have one door two three and four doors here, uh, all photo edge doors. So I found that it was easy to scrape it off with a cutter knife. And this part I have done the orange on this area. So I think the masking was, uh, was okay. Okay, but I think I'm getting a two-tone there now. Not sure why. Mm, and I have a lot of uh, leakages around here. But I think I can... Maybe I can touch these things up. Probably I can just mask the top here and spray here again with a grey. So I've done this and I think next I will I will have this uh, Dex attach. Then I'll start working on all these uh, superstructure things and then try to move on. So this is how far I, I managed to get uh, over the weekend. Not much progress, but uh, at least a little bit of progress. So uh, that's it for now. Um, I'll be back uh, hopefully next week for more updates. 
So until then, I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, happy modeling and cheers for now. Bye.